in this video i will show you a rc series circuit here you will see we will have a resistor of 50 ohm which is in series with a capacitor whose capacitance is 100 microfarad and we are applying an alternating voltage v equal to 141 sin 100 phi t in this rc series circuit now see for the series circuit we have to calculate the rms value of the steady current and we have to calculate the relative phase angle that means phase angle between the voltage and current after that we have to write down the expression of instantaneous current okay after that we have to find the average power dissipated in the circuit after that we have to determine the power factor whether it is leading or lagging or in phase with the voltage after that we have to calculate real power reactive power and apparent power and at last we have to draw the phase or diagram so now let me proceed with the circuit solution in the circuit we are applying an alternating voltage v equal to 141 sin 100 phi into t now see if i compare this equation with the standard equation of alternating voltage v equal to v m sin omega t plus initial angle phi naught you will see here i will get v m equal to 141 volt okay initial angle phi naught equal to 0 degree omega which is equal to twice phi f will be equal to 100 phi now see our f will be equal to 50 hertz okay At first we have to calculate the RMS value of the steady current. During the circuit analysis you will see we will express the RMS value of current with capital I. RMS value of voltage with capital V. Okay. So don't get confused with that. RMS value of current is the ratio of RMS value of voltage by impedance. Let's say RMS voltage. V is equal to V phase angle will be 0 degree. We get the magnitude of RMS voltage by dividing maximum value of voltage with root 2 0 degree. 141 by root 2 phase angle 0 degree. Here I will get 100 phase angle 0 degree which is equal to 100 plus J zero in rectangular form now see our capacitance will offer resistance of xc to the current flow so i will get capacitive reactance x equal to 1 by twice phi fc here capacitor has a value of 100 microfarad so it will be 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 therefore you will see our xc will be equal to 31.83 ohm let's say i approximate it to 32 ohm in case of a series rc circuit the total impedance is given by z equal to r minus j x c therefore here i can write down impedance i m p e impedance z will be equal to r minus j x c so this impedance will be equal to r is 100 and x is equal to 32 okay so here here this r is 50 and x c is 32 so from here I will get 50 minus j32 this is the impedance if I take it into polar form I will get 59.36 phase angle will be minus 32.62 degree here this will be the magnitude of the impedance and this will be the phase angle phi of the impedance okay now see our current rms 
value of current we will denote that with capital I will be the ratio of RMS value of voltage and the impedance here RMS value of voltage is given by 100 phase angle 0 degree and impedance is given by 59.36 phase angle will be minus 32.62 degree therefore you will see the RMS value of current will be equal to 1.69 and phase angle will be 32.62 degree now see the phase angle is positive 32.62 degree this indicates that our voltage V has a phase angle of 0 degree RMS voltage and our current has phase angle of 32.62 degree now see it is obvious that the origin of the current is 32.62 degree ahead of the origin of the voltage so I can say that here our alternating current I will lead voltage V by an angle of 32.62 degree here phi v is equal to 0 degree and phi i is equal to 32.62 degree therefore phase difference phi d will be phi i minus phi v which will be equal to 32.62 degree so relative phase angle will be 32.62 degree with I leads P by this angle now see the RMS value of current is 1.69 ampere therefore maximum value will be 1.69 m is equal to I RMS into root 2 so here maximum value of current will be 2.39 ampere in number 2 we will write down the expression for the instantaneous current instantaneous current I is equal to I m sine omega t plus phi this phi will be phi d phase difference between voltage and current here our current I leads V by 32.62 degree therefore in case of a capacitive circuit to indicate that lead we will add an angle phi D with the omega T so this is our I equal to I m sin omega T plus phi D our current will lead the voltage by an angle of phi D now see the maximum value of current is equal to 2.39 ampere sine omega is equal to 100 phi sine 100 phi t plus 32.62 degree okay this is the equation of instantaneous current and here you will see we will add 32.62 degree because our alternating voltage V is equal to 141 sin 100 phi t plus 0 degree and here current will be 
105 plus 32.62 degree this indicates the leading of current i with respect to voltage now look at point number 3 find the average power dissipated in the circuit number 3 average power in a rc circuit is equal to the rms value of voltage rms voltage into rms current into power factor here rms value of voltage is equal to capital v rms value of current is i and power factor is cosine phi d this phi d is a phase difference between voltage and current so here v is equal to 100 i is equal to 1.69 and cosine 32.6 2 degree therefore the average power absorbed by the RC circuit will be 142.35 watt we can calculate the average power or of an RC circuit by using this formula also I square R because in a complete cycle capacitor does not absorb any power during positive half cycle it draws power from the source in the next cycle it returns that power to the supply so i square r here i is equal to 1.69 i will take its square and r is 50 so i will get 142.35 watt now look at number 4 determine the power factor here the phase difference between voltage and current is equal to 32.62 degree this phi d is the phase angle between voltage V and current I okay now see we we calculate the power factor by taking the cosine of this phi D cosine phi D here phi D is equal to 32.62 degree and that will be equal to 0 0.84 and in a RC circuit current I leads V therefore this 0.84 will be leading power factor alternatively we can calculate power factor by taking the ratio of r and z r is equal to 50 0 degree and impedance equal to 59 point three six I am considering only the magnitude we don't have to take the phase angle here it will be 0 0.84 okay this is also leading power factor we can also calculate power factor by taking the ratio of real power to apparent power apparent power is equal to VI and real power equal to vi cosine phi this is the rms value of voltage and current cosine phi d okay and this is equal to rms voltage into rms current here rms value of voltage is equal to 100 rms value of current is 1.69 into cosine phi cosine 32.6 degree divided by 100 into 1.69 therefore you will see our power factor will be 0 0.84 leading power factor okay now see after that we have to calculate 
real power real power p is equal to rms voltage rms current cosine phi d this is like this 100 into 1.69 into cosine 32.62 degree and that will be equal to 142.35 watt reactive power Q equal to RMS voltage RMS current sine phi d 100 into 1.69 into sine 32.62 degree this will be equal to 91.10 bar lastly we have to calculate apparent power apparent power is equal to the multiplication of voltage and current voltage is 100 and current is 1.69 which will be 169 watt okay this is the apparent power reactive power and this is the real power so far i am done with step number five we have calculated real reactive and apparent power now i will draw the phasor diagram see this is a rc series circuit in which the current i is flowing in the circuit rms value of current is equal to 1.69 ampere and this current i will be same all over the circuit therefore i will take the current i as our reference phasor so let's say the current i is equal to 1.69 ampere is flowing in the circuit and i will calculate take i equal to 1.69 current as our reference phasor let's say i take that reference phasor in this direction let's say i denote that current phasor with o a this is our current phasor o a okay now see this i will flow all over the circuit if i take current i in this direction if the voltage across this resistor is VR in case of a pure resistance I and VR will go in the same direction now what is the value of this VR VR is the RMS value of current I into the value of that resistor I is equal to 1.69 ampere and R is 50 ohm which is equal to 84.5 volt ok now see I will take the current phasor Vr equal to 84.5 volt in the same direction of reference current I. I will denote that Vr with O P in the same direction of I. Okay, let's say this is that phasor O P V R. Okay it is in the same direction of our i now see the current that is flowing through the capacitor is i and if i take the current i in this direction the voltage across the capacitor vc will lag the current by an angle of 90 degree that means if i take reference axis in this direction vc will be 90 degree behind from the reference axis now what is the value of vc this is equal to i x c i is 1.69 and x c is equal to 31.82 ohm so here i will get vc equal to 53.78 volt i will denote that vc with b c and this vc will create an angle of 90 degree with the reference axis this is our reference axis and this is the terminating point of this OB now see if I if I draw the VC phasor in this direction I will get let's say this phasor VC is equal to 53.78 volt 
and this VC will create a 90 degree angle with the reference phasor. Therefore, this angle will also be 90 degree. As a result, if I add this point and this point, I will get voltage triangle or phasor diagram of this circuit. This OC will indicate the RMS value of applied voltage. Now see, this is 90 degree angle, so this will be hypotenuse. So I can write OC square equal to PR square plus VC square from which you will see this OC is our RMS value of applied voltage. So V will be equal to root over eighty four point five volt whole square plus fifty three point seven eight whole square and this will be equal to hundred volt and this is the phasor diagram of RC circuit or voltage triangle. because in this circuit i am taking vr in this direction vc in this direction and v equal to 100 volt in this direction therefore this will create a right triangle in which we represent three sides with three voltage components so this is a right triangle and this triangle is voltage triangle that's it thank you